Getting a blurry background in any footage is a lot easier than it may seem. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with any footage with inside DaVinci Resolve. I just grabbed this clip from Pexels and it seems to be shot on a phone. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see. It doesn't look like there's hardly any depth of field going on here. Everything seems to be pretty much in focus, but we're gonna change that soon. So what you need to do is have your clip selected, go into the color tab, click that right down here. And in the library, you can hit this magnifying glass. If you don't see this library, just open up the effects tab up here. I'm gonna search in depth mat and click and drag it right here on this line and it's going to make its own node so this is node editors and don't worry this is going to be super simple i'm not going to go in depth <laughs> depth map honey once you have this on it's going to load up this black and white image of what it thinks is the fore and background. One thing to keep in mind is the more powerful your computer or the more powerful of a GPU you have, the better. Quality is gonna be automatically turned on as better. If it's going a little bit slow for you, I suggest going to faster. And you can see there was just a little bit loss of detail when I did that. Pretty much what we're looking at is anything that is more white is in the foreground and anything more black is in the background. It doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to add a, another node. And how to do that is you're going to hit Alt or Option S. From here, we're going to connect this blue square into this blue triangle. So we can see exactly what we're doing. I'm going to select the depth map, turn depth map preview off. That way it'll get rid of the black and white. Now the new node that we made, I'm going to go back to the effects and look for lens blur. And I'm going to drag that on top of here. And as you can see, it already started making things blurry, but it looks like it's mainly just the foreground. So to fix that, I'll just go back to depth map and click invert. Now the background is blurry and it already sort of looks decent, especially playing through. It's not too bad, but we're going to make that a little bit more fine tuned. We're going to turn the depth map preview back on just because it's a lot easier to see. So since we inverted it, now everything that's more black is going to be the foreground and everything that's more white is the background. Firstly, we're going to turn on this adjust map levels and we're going to adjust the far limit and just bring this to where we think the, the very far part is and honestly where it is is fine now the near limit we're going to turn that down since that car is pretty close so we'll put it um probably right about there i'd say we can also isolate specific depth think of this as racking focus or pulling focus to certain points i'm not going to use that but i'll show you what it looks like if we turn on this isolation now we can adjust so it looks just like whenever you're racking focus in a camera and you can pretty much honestly animate a focus pull on here and if you actually wanted to animate a focus pull let me know and i'll show you how to do that in a future video but i'll go ahead and turn that off and i'm going to turn on post processing and this is going to make it even more detailed along the edges and this is just something you kind of play around with and and see what looks best we can also make it go bigger or smaller on there. And for this particular video, it's not looking like there's too much that's picking up on. So I'm gonna turn the depth map preview off so I can see a little bit better. Close this down so I can zoom in and look around the edges of the vehicle. There, now I can see how it's looking. So this expansion probably be there. And this is kind of the, the feather between the edges. Let's post filter. I think that's probably pretty good right there. And we can go back over to our lens blur effect. We can change it to pretty much whatever the aperture looks like and you can increase the blur size right here. 
probably somewhere around there. Can do a little bit of anamorphic look to it. Chroma shift. And there's all of these little things you can do just to make it look a little bit more realistic. There you go, we've turned our completely in focus footage into a piece that has a nice little depth of feel to it. Of course, it's not gonna be super perfect, but if you really need that look and if you weren't able to get it in camera or you just wanna play around and have a depth of field in your footage, this is a great way to do that. So that's how you get a depth of field with any footage inside DaVinci Resolve.